hello friends hello friends my name is ravindra in this video we will see how to send bulk data from excel to dataverse also in this video we will see to create and update the records by using the power automate flow complete procedure we will do by the power automate in this video uh, also uh, this is the fastest way okay and uh, also to easy to the so now you can be see this is my excel file in this excel file i have a table here in this table i have total seven rows okay and the id column this id column is a unique column okay in our excel sheet okay if you have to perform the update action also so you are required this id column must okay unique column anything okay by using the if your names are unique so you can be take this as a unique column after that uh, I will show you the table of our power um, dataverse table. Okay, so this is the dataverse table I have created here. Okay, so one second is missing. Okay, in this you can be see second one is I deleted. After that fifth and sixth. Okay, in the fifth I have just uh, updated the department of this user here. You can be see at the fifth uh, ID here is the app development department. Okay, but here we make power apps developer. Okay. So let's be uh, first uh, run our flow, okay? So how it's work, you can be see. So automatically, so that I will go and save and test. So now you can see our flow is uh, saved successfully. Now it's running, okay? Let's we run our flow. Just click on the run flow button. After that, click on done. So you can be see our flow run successfully. Okay. Within one second, our apply to each action is completed and list also read in the zero second. Okay. So in the power apps, we just go to the power apps. Okay. So now you can be see this out table, Excel table is same like our power as table okay all the records are updated also and we are performing the bulk operation on our excel table you can be see the fifth record is also updated okay for app development here you can be the second record is also added fourth record is also added okay so i just show you the run history also so in the first just make it a little bit small so you can be see it So in this way, you can be see our uh, first condition is false. Okay, means our first record is already present. So it go and updated our record successfully. Okay, after that, if we go for the second, okay, so our second record is not present. So it uh, just go through this loop and create a new row. Okay, and so on. So let's see how to create this flow. So I just open the flow in the edit mode and just uh, first take the manual trigger here. You can take any trigger as per your wish. Okay, you can be take from power apps, from power automate, or any item is created or modified. It okay, any trigger you can be take. After that, by clicking on this plus icon, add action. I use the list row. Present action here of our Excel. Okay, so simply let's type Excel. It takes some time because too many connectors are present there. So it takes a little bit time. So we let's go to our Excel in the actions. This list row present in table action you have to select. Okay. So after selecting this action, okay, just select the location one drive for business, or you can be select any if your the your file is present in your SharePoint. So you can be select your location, okay, and document library. After that. You can select the file from here also or from any trigger your file is coming. Okay. So from there also you can be paste the ID of your file here and then table. Simply. After that we will use apply to each. Okay. So by using this list row present in table we will get all the rows that are present in our table. So this all the rows we are getting by using this action. In simply. 
okay so in this action we will use apply to each means we check every row is present in our data was table or not okay so that's why we have to check that so that's why we use here apply to each action okay so in the apply to each we use the list row action okay so what basically list rows uh, done here okay it checks uh, <clears throat> any list is present in our data was table or not by using the filter query okay so in the data was table for the id column let's i go in the edit okay for the list row we are applying the filter query here okay so we have to take this logical name just by using control c copy it and just paste this here give one paste write eq after that give the single quotes and select the id from the dynamic content here okay so from dynamic content you have to select this id here okay so up to this uh, okay everything is uh, good after that we will go and check the output of this uh, list row action okay is equal to zero or not okay so length means uh, in our data was table if any row is present so it will uh, give us like uh, if here one row is present okay so it will give one value here in the our condition if we go to the run history here okay apply to each condition so the raw input okay it's not showing deeper but here you can be see our first condition is false okay so false means our record is already present in our table okay here you can be see we are getting the one record here okay so for the false it will goes to the loop there and our condition become false okay so how to write this condition we will see first uh, just click here go to the dynamic content go to the expression type length simply give the curly braces from dynamic content add the value of your list row present action here you can be see here in our value we are getting the single record okay so we have to use the value here okay so that's why we just uh, click here and just click on the value so same output you will get here okay automatically and if i cancel this is equal to zero after that uh, in the yes we just use the add row action here okay and uh, select our ta table name excel to the data works word okay go id department all the column name just simply type here okay after that we will go to the update a row okay how to update a row okay in this action we want the guid of uh, from this table okay so how to get guid guid is a 32 digit hexadecimal representation okay this is a unique id for each of the record in our table okay so let's we go click here in edit you can be see unique identifier okay so you also have to copy this logical name here this control c use control c action here to the save the time in the list row i use the only two columns for the checking purpose okay first is our power apps id column here okay this is first and second column we are using here so only in the filter by the columns we use this guid number okay so we are getting only two columns in the list row not a complete data source of our data verse okay so that's why we will save our time here okay after that in the compose okay so if our condition is false okay in that case uh we getting a body here okay in the array format correct so uh, in the if we take the direct output here okay so it will go to the apply to each okay to literate the first record from our array okay in our uh, list row action here okay only one record is coming if condition is false but then also it will go to the loop because our record is in array format so to take the first record from that we use this simply add the zero here okay so how to write this condition i just show to you just go to the dynamic content go to the expression okay dynamic content add here use the square bracket and just type the zero and save it simply give the question mark also if any blank value is coming so to handle that we will use this question mark here after that uh, we will get complete row here 
okay this complete row we will get okay from that we only want the jui id okay so from object uh, to get the jui id we will use the output of our compose and give the column name here okay if you go to the run history here you can be see this is our jui id column so we will uh, just take this single record here not the complete object so um, by using this okay simply output of this compose okay after that use square bracket give the single quotes and use this okay so we will get the jui id from this in update row simply use this jui id here give table name and other map your data according to the list that's all friends i hope uh, some value is added to your knowledge if you have some questions or feedback or suggestions for me you can be provided in the comment form keep learning keep growing keep exploring thank you friends have a nice